My name is Dr. Dan Sokal. I'm a research scientist and I teach as part of the concentration in animals, people and the environment. My interest is in ecology and epidemiology of what diseases that are transmitted from wildlife to humans. I'm Marisa Bunning. The APE program helps get the students obtain a broad perspective across many different disciplines because many of the current challenges in public health deal with the triad of animals, people, and the environment. My name is Craig Mullinex and uh, I'm from Fort Collins. Uh, I chose the APE uh, concentration because for me uh, I was interested in studying veterinary medicine but having done a lot of volunteer work not only in the US but around the world I saw that a lot of the problems in veterinary medicine today happen with other issues such as cultural, political and economic issues that influence the health not only of animals but of people. My name is Christy Esposito. I'm from Virginia. I chose Animal People in the Environment because I thought it was a very unique concentration, very unique to the School of Colorado Public Health. And it's very One Health oriented. I'm very into the One Health initiative. My name's Angelina Gerardo, and I'm from Simi Valley, California. So far, I've really found epidemiology, field epidemiology, to be the most interesting class. I really like that because a lot of countries do not have the resources and capabilities that we do. So trying to set up uh, systems in these in countries is challenging and it makes you kind of think outside the box. So I teach a uh, One Health uh, graduate seminar series um, and it, One Health is this interdisciplinary approach to um, health that considers it from the aspects of uh, animal populations, um, human populations and then the environment that both of these populations exist in. I'm just currently working on my practicum now, I'm working for the Boulder County Public Health Department. We're mapping out West Nile virus. One of my future aspirations is actually working GIS, and infectious disease is one of my big interests. So it's really helping me tie all those loose ends together. It's challenging, but it's really rewarding at the same time. I'm a veterinarian in the Army, and upon graduation, I'll be sitting for the Veterinary Preventative Medicine Board. Um, so hopefully I'll get my certification with that. And then after, after that, um, wherever the Army puts me, hopefully they will be using my experience in food safety. I was accepted to the veterinary program at Colorado State. I think in the future I'd like to be an international veterinary uh, person, not necessarily a clinician, but I think perhaps uh, directing countrywide strategies to improve agriculture, to improve livestock production. What you get out of the program is, is basically what you put in. If you're interested in it and you really apply yourself and, and bring ideas to the table, the more you will get out of the program.